doing well today and welcome back to the channel today i'd like to introduce you to modat so you probably know shodan shodan is as you may know besides black friday sometimes outrageously expensive so um i would like to introduce an alternative just an alternative i mean it is just like i say you you can use it as shodan it's an internet search engine so there's a lot that you can do here just check out this query guide and I've prepared a few queries for today which you can use to check it out but first of all let's quickly go to the pricing so you can see here that the pricing is much more reasonable than for example a Shodan if I were to compare that where you'd pay like 360 a month that's that's already the full business plan for this one um so and this one like has lower plans which is nice you can get the practitioner which can get you up to 10,000 search queries pm and up to 100,000 results pm api access of uh, half a request per second and a single user um so what can we do additional to this free stuff of course you can you can do queries so what kind of queries do i have for you well of course we all know the good old classic looking for us web servers um, you can use that in any way that you please of course we are looking for country US but we can also try to look for hosts which are uh, having a web server that belong to a certain organization or something what else can we do SQL servers so if we have a list of servers and we want to check out SQL servers ooh, that one just worked a minute ago there we go i was about to say am i going crazy so we got sql servers then we got the technology engine x if you are looking for a different technology and of course you can use all of these search queries in combination Ooh, i must be doing something wrong because there we go i'm probably entering three times my bad so finding exposed ftp services same thing but there we go port equals 21 service equals ftp these are all FTP services, which are exposed doesn't mean that they're open for login. That doesn't mean that, but they are exposed services. Then we have product Cisco. So if you're looking for Cisco devices in your bug bounty target, you can. There are no results, of course, in this one. Then we have any exposed databases. So service equals database. Ooh. Oh, yeah, of course, because the protocol isn't valid. Service equals MySQL, for example. There we go. We have a database list in the US. Find specific technology version. So if we are looking for something like a version, as you can see here, the technology dot version is 8.3.15. And the technology itself is PHP. So you can drill down on these as well. You have the technology with the technology version attached to it. And you can very easily and quickly see the CVEs. Now, a lot of you guys are always very impressed by seeing CVEs. CVEs does not mean exploitability, guys. It means that there is a potential for exploitability. But let's go to those CVEs. Let's imagine that I want to look across the entire internet for one CVE. Well, it's possible. So then we go on and we look for specific domains like google.com. Let's do that one. So uh, it's taking a little bit to load, of course, because Google is a big one. But these are all services that belong to Google. As you can see, the technologies, Google Web Server, Google Web Server, Google Web Server. Then we can also find something like this, exposed webcams with a specific banner version. But I feel like it's best if you just go and try it out yourself, because there is a free version available. Just go ahead and give it a shot. There is a bunch of stuff that you can do in here if we check out that query guide once again. So query guide and let's say that we have something. So let's say that we have a banner with the FileZilla beta stuff here. That's the one that I was looking for, by the way. This is not particular to open uh, webcams, by the way, but this is just with FileZilla server on it. Well, basically in here, what we can do is we can download these results as well. So save, oh, save the query. That's what I meant, of course. So in here, what we can do is save our queries, of course, load our queries. We have our query guide as is expected. 
and that's about it basically you can search the internet that's the whole idea and you can then drill down if you'd like but it's mostly the idea to look for your bug bounty targets if you have a very broad scope target for example and look for any servers that are related to that bug bounty target if those are in scope or like you guys saw if you're a little bit mischievous you can look for open webcams as well we didn't look for that particularly on here but that's just one of the options we can look for technologies if we have a target and we want to have something that has php from our target we can look for php or if we have a very very broad range of hosts we can look for hosts with web servers on them we have options here but the options they start at free so that's always a good price i'd say give it a shot but they go really easy 20 bucks a month for the basic versions if you're interested and like it so you have nothing to lose basically you can go give it a shot if you've always been interested in services like shodan but you just want to give it a shot for a bit of a cheaper price and, and still with the same quality as before well now is your chance Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and by the way, we are not sponsored by Moda, to be very clear. I did get a free account for a month, but we are not sponsored by them. Um, so that's good to know, I'd say. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.